welcome to T-Bone's Best of Roanoke show. Music, comedy, and conversation featuring HB, the Honey Badger. Honey Badger don't care. Now, on with the show. Radio Free Roanoke, and this is episode number 120, T-Bone's Best of Roanoke Show, HB. If I told you there was a new restaurant in downtown Roanoke that served a menu of international fusion, what would you say to that? I'd say I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say, hello. let's say hello to the owner, Ani Hernandez from Two Chill Restaurant. Ani, good morning, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing Thank you so much for having me today. Oh. I really, really appreciate this space. Yeah. We've, we've been looking forward to this, Ani. Uh, you've been here in the old Blue Five space since yes. October. Yes, Is but then right? of October, October 22nd, we open our doors. Uh, we are very happy and excited um, about all the uh, community support and everybody is trying a little bit of what we want to offer. Yeah. yeah. Well, when I say international fusion menu, Mm -hmm. What exactly would I expect if I came here for that? Okay, it's not going to be a menu on the very left side mm -hmm. and no very on the right side. It's kind of on the middle right mm -hmm. now. Okay. We do have uh, chicken sandwiches, we do have a naked burger, but we also have like crispy pork belly served with yuca, mm. that is kind of cassava, it's a tubercles. Uh, we do have green salsas, gnocchi. So when we talk about fusion, international mm -hmm. cuisine, we are trying to explain that there is a little bit of everything, yeah. mm -hmm. but with a little twist. Yeah. So the twist would be the fusion that we are trying to do, like bringing the opportunity to people to try on the same plate, yeah. different cuisines around the world. Well, From around great. the world. Yeah. So have you had exposure to this? Or have you worked in the restaurant business? Yes, I've been working for restaurants and hotels since I'm 17 years old. So it has well, been... you're 21 right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 32 years old, so it has been around 15 years on the, on the field, and I really, 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 really enjoy it. I've been working with the best chefs and mixologists uh, in Costa Rica and even here in the States. Um, we are ready to provide all this to our customers. I actually did some traveling a couple of years ago. That's it's something that I really enjoy to do, like traveling yeah. and explore different cuisines and try things that I'm not used to, right. like in France or Italy, I've been in Peru, in Mexico. Oh, oh my. Um, so you can try a little bit of everything in there and it's something that definitely um, give you another idea or another paladar. Yeah, so you've, had a, you've got a lot of uh, insight on what Exactly. Uh, different things and different restaurants, nationalities. Exactly. Yeah. And again, being for such a long time on this business um, has given me the opportunity to try very, very different oh. type of cuisines, work with a lot of chefs, with mixologists. So that's kind of what we want to bring in here. Okay. Like kind of where people is used to, but giving a little twist there so they go. can explore. Uh -huh. Well, I know people in Roanoke, they always, they always like flock to a new restaurant. So what are some of the favorite things people are ordering right now? Is there two or three that kind of stand out? Yes, definitely. We do have uh, the Sivas that is served. It's a Chilean Sivas and uh -huh. it's served with risotto, with a citrus risotto. It's very rich and mm -hmm. um, um, green beans. Uh, another of the favorites is the chor ribs that we have. They are cooked really, really slow for more than three or four hours. Mm. We do use a lot of vegetables to cook them. Um, and also uh, another of the favorites of the house are the pork belly right yeah. now. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
They're the, really, really good. That's, 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 that's up my alley there. <laughs> the pictures that you have on your website, they really pop of the, of the items, the food items. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they are professional pictures that we took for an amazing friend. Um, his name is Taylor. He's a great photographer, and he has been doing an amazing job. Oh, yeah. Now, to, to, to cook this kind of food, Ani, do you, do you have a chef? Yes, we do have a chef. Um, we do develop the menu with an executive chef, and then um, our head of, chef of the kitchen, so our head chef, is the one that gives some twists to those recipes mm -hmm. and creates his song. So, um, in this moment, we are actually bringing some more dishes to the menu, some more new plates. Mm -hmm. We are probably are going to be um, make, having our speakeasy bar next month, by the end of the month, oh. in January. So there is going to be like a bar menu uh, just to offer in there because that what we want to do on the speakeasy is more like a lounge area oh. and do the main floor as a um, Dining. Right. Okay. That and makes you have sense. a big bar up here. Yes. Too, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. And um, we are fixing some um, and mixing cocktails. There are signature cocktails. Um, we do have a variety of draft beer. You can think of Peroni or a oh, Blackberry yeah. Ghost. Wow. So it's a little bit of everything. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, we've been to a speakeasy or two in our life. <laughs> uh, so mm -hmm. downstairs, if you, people have not been to this building, it's a perfect space for speakeasy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, we are working very hard right now on all the decoration and remodelation on the area. We want to try to keep it simple, mm -hmm. clean, open. That's yeah. the idea. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there are many things to come. Uh, for the downstairs, for this basement that we have, which huh. is a gorgeous place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. And then it's a mezzanine. You got a little mezzanine here? Yeah, here, we do have above. a mezzanine yeah, yeah. up top. We do have the main area. And soon we're going to have the basement up. And we used to call the red room. Oh, uh, okay. A lot of things I read, on the, uh, the vibe, the atmosphere, the way you've fixed it up. Tell us about that because that, that it certainly catches people's eyes when I read about your place. Well, um, definitely has been a challenge um, with this building. Yes. It's a beautiful location and it has a lot of history behind us. Um, our concept is to do it like clean it, fresh, mm -hmm. like refreshing. We've been doing a lot of work on floors, on painting. Um, a little bit of decoration, nothing saturated because that's not my idea. My idea is mm -hmm. something more um, minimalistic, more open areas, more clean spaces so yeah. energy can flow in. And again, we do have a stage, so that's, that came with the idea to, to do some live music on Saturdays. Um, okay. The idea is to play every single Saturday of the year, mm -hmm. having a different band, a different musician, mm -hmm. or a DJ playing. Okay. Right up here, right up front. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's a, this is actually a high-profile spot. It's a very nice location, I think. I've always thought it was a good right. So, good for you. Um, Thank you. The concept, then. Uh, this was your concept, and you've got it going here. What do you see for the future? Uh, bands, speakeasy, you see uh, anything else going on? Well, definitely a lot of things are coming. We do have a lot on our plate right now. Yeah, yeah but uh, you do. <laughs> so we are working on a lot of things. But yeah, definitely uh, the idea is to make like a proper place to go to relax mm -hmm. and just have a drink, enjoy some good music, have an excellent meal. Uh, try different things, really enjoyable, something that you really like and enjoy. Yeah. Um, quiet, not too loud, oh. uh, but also, again, with the live music, mm -hmm. having all these type of different scenarios. Quality place, you know, quality food, quality entertainment. I can see what you're doing here. Yes, it's, it's, that's, it's that's beautiful the main place, idea. So, uh, that's oh, the main yeah. idea. Actually, our um, logo or our uh, main um, how you say yeah cool cool logo uh, thing uh, yeah uh, cool uh, to like, chill to chill yeah it's drink eat music. and listening yeah and listening that's right right yeah. 
right. so that's the idea that's a, that's our whole idea to do this combo to provide a grain atmosphere to provide some excellent uh, dishes some signature cocktails amazing beers amazing wines and obviously some beautiful and um, gorgeous yeah. as well yes the, uh, so is it would be a good place to come sit down and you can talk to people exactly and not be yelling at each other because exactly. of the loud music going on yeah uh, another thing that pops out uh, Ani is the service uh, you, you must have very good service here. Yeah, definitely. Guys are great. I really, really enjoy like the team that we have at the moment. Mm -hmm. They all give out their best, and there are many things to come. So of course yeah. we are gonna have more people here at the restaurant working now. That is, people knowing a little bit more of us. Well, it's a class-looking place. It's it's just yes. upper nice, very nice. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And, and again, uh, if I can take this little space to invite people to come to our restaurant and try something different and enjoy a new experience and talking about culinary, right. and different musics, all type of musics we're going to be playing. There are different bands playing all the time, not only one style. Um, and of course, beautiful and um, excellent signature cocktails. Mm. Do you have any desserts after we finish our wonderful meal? Do you would you do you have desserts on yet? Yes, yes, we do have desserts. We are gonna have a mini chocolate bomb. This is <laughs> a chocolate bomb. A chocolate bomb. Oh, yes, yeah. just how it said. It's like a. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's got Pretty good. It, the inside is gonna be hazelnut and cream, and the oh. top is gonna have chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like having like a mousse caramelizing in there. Ooh, nice. Yeah. That's yeah. got a little twist to it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it has a yeah. little twist. We also have some um, tiramisu, some of the classics, and we also have um, New York cheesecake. Ooh, Sometimes yeah. a chef do like a mango or passion mm. fruit cheesecake. So they're all with variations on yeah. the menu. Well, that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, Ani, is there anything else we left out or anything else you want to highlight? Uh, Yes, yes, I would like to mention that we are open for brunch uh, Saturdays oh, and Sundays. Okay. Our brunch, again, it has beautiful plates in there. Our hours are from 11 to 3 p.m. at the moment. Okay. Uh, and then we open back for dinner at 5. Now that's five. Saturday and Sunday? And Sunday. Oh. We are not doing dinner, dinner on Sundays at the moment, okay. but it's coming up. All right. And also something that I want to mention is that we are soon to open our lunch menu, which mm -hmm. is going to have lunch specials, okay. of course, we have to do in it, to um, extend all our hours. So for now, we're doing dinner 5 to 10, okay. but in the next couple of weeks, we are going to have a lunch, dinner, and on weekends, we're going to have live music, brunch, and dinner. Okay. Whew. Oh, yeah, your hands are full, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, wow. yes, yes, it is. And we're very excited and very thankful with all the community. We really wanted to bring everybody coming in here mm -hmm. and giving us a chance to try something different. Yeah, let people see something different here in Roanoke. Exactly. Too. Yeah. And again, it's nothing that it goes very on the left and nothing that it goes very right. on the side. It's kind of what you guys are used to, just with a little tweet, yeah. with a chef special, with a chef touch. Solid, yes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Solid. Yeah. Uh, or let me ask you an international question here. Of all the countries you've been to, uh -huh. which one has the cuisine that kind of speaks to you the most? Which one do you enjoy um, the most? I do have a couple of favorites. All right, let's hear them. Um, Peru in South America. Mm. i actually been there twice. Okay. And we do have a couple of dishes that are having uh, this kind of cuisine. Uh, for example, our sivas, the salsa that is going to be on top is going to have like a pepper or aji panca mm. sauce. It's a creamy sauce that it goes on top, yeah. so it gets um, paired with a risotto, so it's a really, really good combination. Yeah. And another cuisine that is definitely one of my favorites is the Italian. Oh, and okay. I can tell you, I remember one day in Rome, I was on a little, little cafeteria and I ordered a vegetarian risotto. And I can tell you it was the best meal <laughs> of my life. <laughs> of your life. Wow. Best meal of my life. Oh. Um, believe me, I've been trying many, many dishes, different cuisines, and I will never, never forget now, that now meal. Now, you're from... 
Yes. Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Costa Rica. So, yeah. So, Costa Rica is more like talking about rice, but black beans, a lot oh, of plantains, okay. pineapples, because mm. coffee, that's where we grow yes. up. Oh. So, our um, cuisine or our food is very fresh and very tasty. Mm -hmm. So, we use a lot of um, spices, a lot of cilantro, a lot of onions, peppers, garlic. And that's mm -hmm. kind of something what we are trying to do in here too. Sounds awesome. Something fresh and healthy. Yeah. yeah. Um, definitely I'm not a big fan of um, fast food. Right. It okay. hurts my stomach for some reason. I don't like it. Okay. Have you ever had a french fry? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. And let me tell you about our french fries. Yeah, yes. what? tell me. Our Go french ahead. fries are hand cut in here. Mm -hmm. are, they are not going to be frozen fries. They are going to be good for the moment that you are getting Okay. Them. So, for example, um, they are coming with a burger, they are coming with um, huevos rotos, which is a Spain dish that is pretty much fries with a creamy sauce on top Ooh. that is cheesy and a fried egg. So, oh, again, yeah. our fries mm. are made at the house, they are not frozen, and that's the whole idea of the restaurant, Fantastic. to don't have frozen food. Wow. It's fresh, it's okay. healthy. Yes, it's it's good. It's good. <laughs> Definitely oh. it's good. <laughs> All right, Ani, thank you so much. No, uh, thank you. We, we were foodies. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, we'll, yes, we'll of, course, you. of course. All right, thank we'll you so much. See you all, and thank you so much for the space and the opportunity. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Go get them. Thank all right, you. thank you. Thank you.